Venezuelans took part in a non-binding referendum on Sunday to assert their claim to the oil-rich Essequibo territory, which is currently controlled by neighboring Guyana. The government of President Nicolas Maduro hopes that the referendum will strengthen their century-old claim. Turnout appeared to be low in some districts, but polling stations remained open for an additional two hours to allow more people to vote. The results are expected to be announced on Monday, and there are concerns in Guyana and the region about Venezuela's intentions regarding the disputed territory. The streets of Caracas are filled with posters proclaiming, Essequibo is ours, as part of a campaign by President Maduro's government. Many Venezuelans, like 68-year-old Mariela Camaro, believe that Essequibo has always belonged to their country. However, in Guyana, thousands of people formed human chains in solidarity with their government, wearing t-shirts that read, Essequibo belongs to Guyana. Guyana's president Irfan Ali reassured the public that the country's borders are secure. Although the referendum is non-binding and the people of Essequibo are not participating in the vote, tensions have been rising since Guyana began accepting bids for offshore oil exploration blocks. The discovery of a major oil reserve in October has further heightened tensions. Venezuela has stated that it has no intention of invading or annexing the territory. But the government has increased its military presence in the area. Venezuela has claimed Essequibo for many years, arguing that the natural border between the two countries is the Essequibo River. They claim that Britain wrongly took control of Venezuelan lands in the 19th century. On the other hand, Guyana asserts that the border was established during the British colonial era and was confirmed by a court of arbitration in 1899. The International Court of Justice has also validated Guyana's position. The referendum consists of five questions, including proposals for the creation of a Venezuelan province called Guyana Essequibo and rejecting the jurisdiction of the ICJ. The Maduro government expects a resounding, yes, vote. However, some opposition politicians in Venezuela, like Maria Karina Machado, consider the referendum to be a distraction. In Guyana, some locals view the vote as important for Venezuela but not for their own country. They believe that Essequibo has always been independent and will remain so.